So this is the second experiment for um, Game Institute's Design Your Own Game Console course. This is lesson two for experiment. Uh, this is lesson six, experiment two. Pulse width modulated. Pulse width modulation generated sound. Um, uses the concept of pulse width modulation, with which I will not explain right now. And use you will. Or I will generate a sine wave, a square wave, a triangle, and a sawtooth wave. Uh, this is a schematic for the circuit. And then use the source code, which I'll pull up in the second part. But it takes these parts 10k and a 180 ohm resistor. This is the SX key, provides a clock. The header pins for plugging it in. This is the switch. This is the two one point one microfarad capacitors. And this is the microcontroller. The SX28 and my panel X. So through the magic of the internet, I have a uh, Constructed the circuit. This is uh, lesson one. This is lesson. I mean, experiment one, experiment two. Um, this is the circuit. Uh, I I showed the wrong switch in the other one. That was uh, that was wrong of me. So it's hooked up to the same somewhat large eight ohm speaker. Um, this is the X, X, SX key. So I'm gonna just connect it here. And turn on the power. And then it takes this code. I um, need to. Part of the reason why I also wanted to wait till the break was so I couldn't get clear with the assembly, so I'm not understanding. I don't understand it fully yet, or I'm just going to to recreate myself, but. This is the source code, and then I'm going to this is run. So I run it, and it erases the chip and reprograms it. And then I was wrong also about the waveforms. It plays a sine, square, and a sawtooth. So it's sine, square, sawtooth, and uh, the reset switch, so you can just reset it. So that's about it. Then we successful. Lesson two.